We begin with a TV flicker on a screen. I'll get you next time, hero! Does this happen to you often? Do your dastardly deeds get thwarted by a heroes on a daily basis? Yes! Every time! Then you, my friend, need a relaxing vacation amongst the high seas on the... The Rainy Waters Cruise. The only cruise liner made entirely for villains. You and your fellow villains amongst the high seas. And you're a top of the line evil food like our famous Devil Days. Our myriad of events and games like the exclusive Tavern Brawl Tavern and Badminton, the most evil of sports. Wow, and all of this at a reasonably low price. That's right, we got prices so low they kill. Literally. And as the screen, as the screen begins to stream out, uh, as the commercial continues to run on, we see lots of bridges connected to a port and multitudes of villains piling on onto a large red and white ship uh, with a massive logo emblazoned on the side of it. Second. Oh. As we hear explosions and shenanigans going on in the background, we see five adventurers. Camille, Juniper, TUC, and Victrola, or Daffodil and Victrola, are all in one, one in uh, all in one of the more common lines waiting to board. Please introduce yourself and your characters and what you look like right now. In what order? Uh, top to bottom. All right, cool. Uh, well, hello, I am the Gardening Clown, also known as Petals, and I'll be playing as Daffodil, the uh, absolutely normal comedian that has nothing- there, there's nothing wrong here, anyway. This is gonna be fun. Yeah! And, uh, hi, I'm Fletch, I'm playing the equally normal, uh, six-year-old Camille, um, who, I guess, to give a visual description, um, is- currently dressed a little bit fancier uh he's cha he swapped out his little cap color and is wearing a nice blue skirt along with a cute little ribbon bow uh you know just normal little normal six-year-old fancy clothes <laughs> hi i'm authenticity uh today i'll be playing uh, a very stressed, ticked off chicken. Um, it's, it's they are fidgeting and doing that thing that chicken oh, doing that thing that uh, chickens sometimes do, where they uh, will try to corral the rest of the uh, the flock. Um, except it's uh, several rev relatively immobile humanoids. So they're fine. They're doing the it's best. fine. I'm sure, honestly, they can probably corral Camille because he is very small. Babble, my love it. Hello? Babble? Oh, no. I can oh. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I can bear. Um. Alright, uh, hi, I am the person who died, uh, several times, <laughs> You're at valid. this point. Uh, I am Babel, I will be playing Juniper today, or, uh, as we all like to call her, Puppy Grandma. Um, she looks very different than the last time that we played. She is no longer whatever fun, funky fur dye that she had. Because uh, that was not actually her natural color. She has since shed uh, her general work clothes and her fur dye. And now she looks like this. Uh, Spend Discord, please. We'll give you another shot, Sans Petal, no worries. And uh, she's wearing a relatively. I guess there's really no better way to put it, but provocative and formal dress <laughs> <laughs> that, um, uh, with a 
I think it was either diamond or pearl or both, I can't fucking remember, but a music note, um, necklace that, from someone dear to her. And, uh, titles, uh, if you want to finish the yeah, description of what that the bill currently is best like. Yeah, I, 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 sorry guys, I have horrible memory, uh, <laughs> You're good. yeah, Daphne good. also is wearing a different outfit than usual, it's, a uh, it's a very nice green sleeveless dress. And she, uh, she has a veil over, uh, over, like over her hat to cover her face. The problem, and and also heels because I never draw daffodil in heels, and that's a crime. <laughs> but also, something more notable is that because of the like, daffodil usually wears like at least like sh short sleeves and gloves, but without those. You there's some scars visible, which I'm pretty sure nobody here has actually seen, like, n like nobody here has actually seen before. Well, That's I mean, fun. somebody has seen them before, but nobody here. Somebody has. Nobody here. Nobody here. Yeah. I sit here and I look at Arthur. <laughs> uh. Oh, mm, yes. Um, it, a while back, uh, do you see, um... This appeared off, and then there was some very angry squawking as if they were having a terrible argument with someone. And when they came back, um, they have been disguised self by some sort of spellcaster, don't worry about it, um, to look like an abyssal chicken uh, wearing a t-shirt that says child. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? Oh uh, my god. Children get in Child. Place. So do I get in free? So TOC TOC is now TAC, the abyssal chicken. The abyssal <laughs> child. <laughs> Too, oh so, so many. So many things. So <laughs> All right. as we begin getting on board, allow me to give a small recap of the events that happened last game because holy fuck it's been months. Um so, Understandable. after the events of a certain camp, uh, Victrola arrived home to find her home trashed, Tiny missing, and n almost no leads as to where he'd gone. Uh, having nowhere to go, he turned to some of the people he had met throughout the last uh, year, basically. Daffodil and um, uh, POC and Juniper, while an old friend of the family happened to uh, upon the scene and made their way over to Daffodil Shop where everybody gathered and watched the tape in which Chiny finally said he had declared himself to not follow him and to not um, try to find where he went. Obviously, not doing that. A lot of you found uh, followed clues all the way up to Chiny's old family home. Chiny and Victrola's old family home. Um, in which you found somebody trying to mess with uh, some of the old boxes that had been left there um, for previous years. After a very quick fight with uh, uh, Chinese worst enemy, Bardock, um, we found that he had been mind controlled and uh, happened to have acquired a pair, a bunch of tickets somehow, expensive tickets, to the Rainy Waters Cruise Line. A very expensive, villains-only cruise liner. Well, with no other lead to follow, and only that, a lot of you packed your bags, headed up north, and found your way all the way up to the next taking of the ship. So, is there anything you guys would like to do, say, um, as your guys are beginning to board? The line is moving kind of slow. Um, you guys do see there are villains all around you like for the most part you got your saturday morning villains the your uh your very funny dr robotniks from Do sonic boom all the way to uh um your batman villains the ones who are willing to murder bite kill um mm -hmm. oh i never described wait a second i never described victrola <laughs> fuck I forgot. You didn't describe the baby! 
Uh, Victrola is also there. Show us there. the um, baby, Jade. I also never introduced myself. Hi, I'm Jade, Mega Magma slash the DM. Um, I'll be playing every single other character, <laughs> as well as uh, my little uh, Victrola, uh, my child, uh, uh, who just wants her brother back. Um, Darling child, the only one with fucking sense. Yep. <laughs> She's wearing a pair of sunglasses, a nice su large uh, sun hat, and a very pretty, uh, a very pretty dress. Um, it's a bit hot. It is. It is uh, the summer technically still. So, um, but yeah. Is there anything you guys would like to say to each other? It's been a bit. Um. Hmm. Oh God, I feel like Juniper needs to do a whiz save to see if she even can talk at the current moment. Oh boy. I will say that, um, Victrola goes up and holds your hand, Jennifer. Throughout this whole thing. Like, Alright, we're gonna be right off the bat. Yeah. <laughs> while, while this is, uh, like, while they're boarding. It's, it's a steep climb. This thing is, this is a giant tunish boat, and, like, these are just fucking wooden planks. Like, with barely a railing. I think oh, somewhere wonderful. in the back of his mind, Camille notes, hey... This isn't our ship certified. <laughs> no, it's a villain's cruise. None of it is our ship certified, actually. Yeah, which is his next thought after. I feel like Juniper will unfortunately pull her hand away because I gesture at her last name. Hmm. They don't do that. Gotta keep up that presentation right now. Yeah. Oh. Understandable. And she does flash Victrola a look of like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm doing this to protect you, sweetheart. Okay. Aww. She she just grabs her hand and puts it down and like holds uh holds her own hand kind of like uh, uh Looks Can at I Camille. say that, uh, yeah, and Camille holds out his hand. <laughs> yeah, the trailer immediately grabs it. TUC will That's come over and... Oh. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I, was saying... uh, I was just going to say that, but also... Uh, uh, the... <laughs> Should we flip a coin? Eagle, Eagle pedals. Eagle the pedals. has two hands. <laughs> Alright, I, I was just gonna say Daphne also offers for the other hand. Oh, yeah, no, if you're please. offering a hand, Victrola grabs it. Consider there are children here, like... I will, say, the line. Yeah, I will also say that, um... Uh, like, there are other children here, and, like, you do see some of the villain parents that are, like, older. Like, definitely some retired villains uh, are just, like, holding their grandkids' hands. Like, it isn't all serious um not currently at the very least it's still the middle of the morning because people are still boarding on um this is a, this is a, alexa i never fucking spoke to you shut up <laughs> i hate that robot um um fuck i lost my train of thought yeah like and um, go ahead I was just gonna help you remind yourself if you weren't uh, no worries if you were uh, still a bit lost yeah so it's not it's uh, like it's still the morning people are still boarding this this is a villain liner for a cruiser but people are here for vacation I think TUC is doing like the pre cruise like okay does everyone have water did you put on your sunscreen did you like uh, the one that you're supposed to do before you get in line, but no one ever does. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I think I does everyone have their sunscreen shit? Yeah, Victrola's reaching into her backpack and reaching for all the stuff. Oh. Yeah, Camille pats down the pockets on his skirt. <laughs> I was gonna reach for, for her hammer space for a bit. There you go. Okay, that's a ten. Uh, okay, she's. Uh, she pulls out like a little ziplock of like dry fruit. Just 
Uh, grot stacks if anybody wanted any. Thank you. I will also break quietly in cookies. She has so many in her freaking hammer space, but she can't bring them out! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I will say, TUC has come over and is unobtrusively leaning against the back of uh, Juniper's leg. Uh, not that anyone would notice, just like, uh, you feel a light pressure. Plumpy Grandma just does the slightest pouty plumpy face because she wanted to pick up TOC and hug. Mm. Uh, so, uh, as uh, crease preparations continue, um, the line does begin to move. Um, and eventually you do reach a small little worker. Um, and you see this is a piranha. <laughs> this is a literal, like, walking on the two fins on its back piranha. Dressed in like a uh, like a little uh, cruise the the cruise uniform, is a take its place. Oh my god! I ain't got all day. Who's got the tickets? Them, like... Uh, who has the tickets again? Oh right, that that um, hold on. <laughs> She's <laughs> reaching into her uh the fucking. God damn it. All right. She would not have put it in her hammer space. She would have put it in, like, a regular pocket. The breast of her fucking dress. There you go. <laughs> she reaches into there, pulls out the tickets, hands them over. The dress doesn't have pockets. That is evil. <laughs> no, the dress Just does checking... not have pockets. Yeah, checking them over. Well, oh, apart from being crumpled, they're fine. And just tags them all, hands them back. The room's down on the third oh, floor. They don't meet the standards. What did you say? Sorry. Baba, what did you say? Did you repeat it? Oh, yeah. Apologies that they don't meet your standards. Yeah, well, we pride ourselves on a horrible service. And <laughs> just hands it back to you. Your, your, your room's on the third floor. Been throw it down. Damn yeah, it. And hands out to the other person. Ow. So. Don't well, trip. That sure is a villain, Cruz. <laughs> so. Weirdly, TFC signs. Weirdly, I feel at home. <laughs> um, as you guys begin uh, walking onto the cruise proper itself, you're kind of guided by most of the employees towards one main area. This is where everybody's currently being uh, guided so they could, uh, you know, get their luggage, find their rooms, do all that stuff. This is the, the what I'm going to be calling the cruise floors. You, while heading over to the lobby, you do pass what you see is the deck with a large pool, many activities happening on at once. You see a couple of people have already began. Uh, they immediately checked into the rooms and immediately started. Uh, some of them are playing badminton. Um, Others are enjoying mahi ties and margaritas. Um, it is. They don't. They don't waste time here. Um, but you guys are eventually guided to the lobby, um, which is uh, the main area of the ship, composed of a large central desk with large decorated pillars in the center. The color scheme is black, red, and white, permeating throughout the entire area. And the ship is filled with piranha employees moving suitcases and helping other villains move about the ship. The main area is mostly filled with the retired villains as well, this specific one. Uh, most of them trying to figure out what rooms they need to get to. Uh, a lot of them are... Some are past their prime. They have some younger villains uh, that are helping them out. Um, but uh, the main things that you guys make note of is the entryway onto the, uh, the events area and the living quarters. Uh, as well as a map showing you all of the main areas of the place. And this is where I'm gonna take a little screenshot and give you guys free reign of the ship. Second. Nope. What? 
have you back. I don't want to add it with 3D paint. Thank you. Oh, no. There we go. Don't. Oh, shit, we have free rain. Yeah. Uh, for the most part, the events area isn't currently open, seeing as how they literally just started. Um, you do see workers coming in and out and in and out, and a couple of people that are coming in and out. Um, but um, you have free reign to explore the lobby and the deck. All right, so what's the plan here? Good question, actually. I never thought after this. I don't think any of us thought that far ahead. Shit. Yeah, Kale's also thinking because, yeah, they don't really have a lot to go on right now. <laughs> they just know that, you know, here somewhere. You have an entire boat. Well, I guess we should probably get started. Maybe we'll hear something if we uh, wander around enough. I mean, we do we kind of have to make it look natural, though, don't we? Yeah, if we're going to go to a more populated area that we can get more information at, it might be best to do it when there's, like, a happening. And that's when most people are going to be there, and that's... Probably where we can get most of the information. Should we at least drop off our stuff in, the, in, the, in our room? I think that's a great idea. We might hear something on the way. <laughs> well, that's, and um, it'll be good to have our hands free. Yeah. So, yeah. as you guys, so you guys are heading over to the cruise ports, uh, and heading over to the lobby. There is the living quarters as well, and passing the the main lobby itself. Um, if you guys just wanna, um, if you guys just wanna roll a, hmm. Oh boy, what do I want to have you guys roll for this, actually? So. <laughs> um, you know what? If you guys just want to roll a general investigation check, because you guys are walking by, uh, checking out things, making overhearing different conversations and stuff like that. Ooh, investigation. <laughs> Something Juniper is good at. <laughs> Something definitely Wait. That uh, actually reminds me that I have forgotten my dice. I'm going to quickly uh, run and grab those. <laughs> oh shit, I have physical dice! <laughs> I'm gonna yes. opt for my physical dice, yeah, honestly. You guys wanna roll <laughs> I don't your know how to dice. use that dice roller. You're fine. But then again, yeah. now that you think about it, my dice have always betrayed me every time I've used them. Should I really trust them this time? Eh, sure. Let me <laughs> use uh, my favorite dice. <laughs> I have physical dice for the first time in my goddamn life. And I just dropped my D8 somewhere. Never mind. Oh no! <laughs> I'll find it at 3 a.m. It's basically a trick of cow trap. Dice Parser is in here, if I remember correctly. Didn't I get it? Oh, I didn't. I told myself I would get it, and I didn't. I'm a dummy. Oh, beloved. Pet, pet. Okay. I. Uh. <laughs> Juniper, my darling. No, no. Juniper, my darling. My darling puppy. You guys can just write down your rolls in the standard dice roller, then. What's six plus five? Uh, that... Eleven. Oh, Neil <laughs> has a twenty-one because he can't be normal. Ever. <laughs> disgusting. Uh, well, <laughs> then again, I'd, I'd be a hypocrite for calling it disgusting, actually, with daffodils plus eleven to deception, but we're gonna ignore that for now. So, Petals, what did you roll? Uh, natural 11, 13 total. So, 11 plus 13? No, 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 no. Oh! Natural 13, 11 plus okay. 2 is 13 total. Oh, wait, I accidentally... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, okay, I see what you... equal sign there. Whoops. You're good. Alright, 13, uh, 14, or no, 12, 11, and a 21. So... Camille... Um, as you begin walking about, you are picking up on different conversations that are happening around. Um, this is, um, how many times has Camille come in contact with, like, villains in, um, uh, in, um, in his life? 
probably a handful of times, but usually his villains are more the um, murderer type mm -hmm. because of his genre. So if it, if you count like your standard murder mystery murderer, uh, at least once or twice a week. So, first of all, as you're walking around, you hear conversations like, Did you hear who actually got in the boat this year? No, what? I didn't. And like, you're beginning to pick up a couple of names that you recognize. Old, like, old, like, villains that have long since stopped doing what they usually do. Or um, one that is, like, currently, like, uh, like being looked for by the by the cops. Um, mm -hmm. many, many people just literally come here and they're just like, hey, I'm just going to stay here because, like, I don't have to worry about be getting, like, arrested for a while. Um, how familiar are you with, like, older villains? Um, I can roll a history for that. Okay, I guess he decided to continue to not be normal. <laughs> we love it. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'll roll history because, you know, that nerves him. And then he decides to get a 19, so that's a 23. So there's a, there's a name that catches your ear as uh, you pass by. It, and um, it comes from one of the Piranha workers who says, Sunny Applebottom, I got your room key right here. <laughs> and it's familiar to you. Only because you've heard Victrola mention it once or twice before. Mm -hmm. Not as a villain, but as her babysitter. And so you turn around a little like, you turn around slightly, and you see this sweet old lady just standing right there. And let me get a picture of her real quickly. Because I finally have a picture of her. I'll put it. Oh my god. Now. Miss Applebottom, my beloved. <laughs> I wiggle. I love. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, quite thank you, sweetie. Just forget that they give me the same room every every time I come here. Um, uh, and you see, she's beginning to walk in the same direction that you guys are, but is far enough away that she has, she has not. I mean, if she recognizes Victrola, she hasn't taken notice of her. Yeah, Camille is going to gently, very casually move between Miss Honey Applebottom and Victrola. Just, just as a precaution. Okay. <laughs> uh, you're, you're trying and... to hide Victrola away. Yeah, so just... Just in case, you know, she does get close enough to recognize. <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh, you guys are heading over to you guys' room. Um, she's following the same direction. Um, uh, and as you're standing in front of her, you see you guys get in an elevator to go down uh, a couple of floors. And uh, uh, she just says, like, oh, please hold the elevator. Uh, <laughs> Do you? What do you guys do? Uh, Arthur, actually, TLC. Okay. Yeah, TLC. Uh, when she calls out to you guys, you recognize her. Actually, you've met her before. I. Sh they sure have. Yup. Yeah. Uh, TAC is just sort of like. Well. And they stick out a wing to hold the elevator. Uh, uh, oh shit. Um, Juniper, who has probably been in the front the majority of the time. Yeah. Because, again, eh, presentation. She's just like, ah, uh, fuck, I might have to roll intimidation at TOC. Because <laughs> she's, she has to give TOC a look. Of like, excuse you. Communication what is the not the strong spirit of this uh, of this party, is it? <laughs> um, I will say that because she did call out. I'm just gonna really quickly roll a history check for Ola, and I'm just gonna use the button dice roller because 
I may or may not have deleted Victrola's character sheet, and so I'm gonna need, uh... It's fine. Nine, uh, she has a pretty good history. She'd, probably, she'd be able to recognize the voice. And as you guys... <laughs> she pushes you aside a little bit, uh, Kibiel. And Victrola just Play. comes up. Uh, Victrola just comes up. Is Applebaum? And there is recognition in Honey Apple Bottom's eyes. She calls out, hey, What are you doing here, sweetie? And she's continuing to hurry along. Now, uh, a little mystery on her hands. Alright, I um, was just standing here. Oh boy. Is there anything? We don't have time for this. And Juniper's just pressing the closed door button. I'm sorry. Was I hearable before when I said that Daffodil's trying to keep the door open out of ref- and I'm just, like, reflecting she's used to it? Oh, understandable! Oh, cool, so there's two of them! It. So, two of them! <laughs> well, as you're trying to hit the closed door button, I will say, if Brother runs out. What? Uh, Camille is falling right after Victrola, like, uh, Victrola, wait! Um, and you guys, you see, um, she doesn't, you see Victrola doesn't tackle the, the little lady, uh, but instead just gives her, like, a big hug. And Miss Honey Applebottom gives her a hug back. Alright, uh... Juniper <laughs> <laughs> doesn't know what to do! Uh. She has to be an asshole, but she doesn't wanna! Ah, uh, it's, it's a good dilemma, ain't it? Um... Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> you see, um, Victrola's now. You see now, Victrola's holding her hand and is helping her along. Um, as Miss Honey Applebottom is like, what are you doing here? This isn't a place for you. This is an old, this is an old cruise ship right here. Are you sure you didn't mistake it for the Sunny Sails? Um, and she gets on the elevator with you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, time to lie. <laughs> and, the first not saying anything. And he's just Lying. oh well, you know we kind of got curious. We heard a little bit about it. He saw that commercial, you know. Yeah. And I'll roll deception, Drea. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting, right? Can I also roll deception? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> because I look at Daffodil's mod this absolutely disgusting modifier for it. Okay, uh, yeah. I rolled a I rolled a four, but that's plus eleven. Cool, fifteen and a twenty-three. <laughs> Those are are pretty good rolls. Um she is looking at all I'm of you. Dice tray. She's looking at the three adults, honestly. Um <laughs> And she just has what like adults this... is an abyssal child. That's fair. She's looking at the two adults. <laughs> um, she's just staring straight ahead, her arms behind her back in that very militant way like she has been trained to do. Just staring off through the wall. Nope. 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 It's not happening. It's fine. <laughs> Beloved. <laughs> this is fine. So I feel like I should also just got curious about this old boat here. I mean, I guess if you are, then I could show you around. I've been here quite a few times. I even came here with my ex-husband uh, when he was still alive. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think we're a little busy at the moment. Maybe we want to check out the, uh... Let me look at the map again. Let me look at the map again. <laughs> <laughs> well, we wanted to go drop our stuff up at the room. A second, you're not alive. This one left. Mm -hmm. What was that, Jade? Uh, technically not alive from, uh, uh, Camille, so... Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. e Mixing in truths. Okay, then. TOC um, is saying nothing. They know their own deception I, modifier. I, I will say that Victrola does, like, 
she she's still holding her hand. Um, this is this this is an old lady that Victrola does trust, and so she actually shoots you guys a look, and you hear in your head, um, each of you individually like get a message because Victrola is a fucking warlock. Um, she says, "I think we can trust her, though." She's. I've known her most of my life. All right, Camille is going to uh, run in insight on Miss Honey Applebottom, if that's all right. Sure. TAC would like to do the same. Please feel free. Juniper shoots a uh, response to the message by saying, "I." I'm going to trust in you on that. Unfortunately, I have to be kind of an asshole, and I'm sorry. So, mind. so who's I rolling? Who's not. rolling inside checks? Uh, uh, Camille did. He got a twenty-two because he's awful. <laughs> he got a twenty-one. You'll see you get nothing. Camille! No. <laughs> He's lying to you. No. No, I'm kidding. Um, honestly, you sense absolutely no, like, with, with an entire check of just trying to check, like, what are her vibes? Um, you really don't get any malintent apart from, you know, being a fucking villain. Um, this is an old lady that has since then retired and definitely, like, she might be able to throw a punch, but... She's she ha she definitely has seen her her best years I guess I don't want to say it sounds like I'm making fun of the old it's not um her best years are past like, her prime yeah she's past her prime um and honestly she does seem to care for Victrola she was genuinely surprised seeing her here so it was I mean Victrola was less surprised this is a crucible ship or old villains it's not like she hasn't heard her talk about this place before um yeah. So, I think with that, he does sort of relax a bit and uh, gives Victrol a nod. Miss, miss on the apple bottom. Barney's been missing. I'm sorry, what? He, he went missing. He's been gone from all of the summer. I don't know what he was doing, but he was working on something. And now, you think he let him here? Yeah. The trainee doesn't have a single bad bone in his body. What do we be doing here? Well, we don't think oh. he's here willingly. Question, is there anyone else on the no. elevator besides... It's a very slow okay. elevator so far. <laughs> <laughs> Juniper's the worst... just gonna drop her hands from behind her back. And you can see now that she's fucking trembling, like, oh, fuck, man. Uh -huh. So, hi, nice to meet you. I'm Juniper, I mean... Look, I'm, you already probably know that that's a lie. I could probably tell, yes. But, <laughs> um, I choose to take people at face value here. Believe me. Most folks will have a reason to lie when you're surrounded by the scum of the earth. <laughs> she just finger guns awkwardly. Oh, beloved. <laughs> um, Not that the you guys are the scum of the earth, but you know what I, you know who I mean. I beg to differ because I have opinions, but also. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you do. <laughs> um. <laughs> Where did my brain go? <laughs> so what was he here for then? We feel like he got taken, maybe? Taken on a vacation? That seems a little bit... Uh... Weird. Kidnapped, um, more like... Ah. Yeah, that would make uh, a lot more sense. Um... Mm. You don't usually see a lot of heroes being kidnapped and brought here. In fact, most of the time you see a lot of heroes trying to get on board and all that. Trying to capture their nemesis. 
They usually don't make it past security. Uh, um, well, you and I come from very different backgrounds. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but also, I don't get it either. I haven't really thought about it much. Guys, <laughs> she's looking at the rest of them. <laughs> Her brain is firing off of a lot of different things, and none of it is useful. <laughs> well, we do know at least that the person sort of orchestrating this, if you will, does have uh, enchantment-based abilities. I wish I could help you there, but that sadly doesn't really narrow it down. I know a couple of folks I figured. in here. I know a couple of folks here that deal with enchantment and all that. And at this point, the doors uh, open back up, and um, you guys do see it. it's not <laughs> it's not that busy um, and all that. You can you have time to prepare uh, to put yourself back into your position if you so wish. Um, why don't Why don't we finish this conversation in go back this room? My room's one below us. Okay. Camille gives her a nod. Mm -hmm. Could PUC roll, um, just sort of, I don't actually know what this roll would be, to, but just, like, any sign of, like, the same enchantment magic that, uh, Bardock was under. Ooh, okay. That's, because this that's... is someone, this oh. is someone known to, uh, be around Charney. Yeah, okay. Okay, like okay. Dark okay, okay, okay. Um, so what you would want to roll is either an investigation check to see if you can spot any of the similarities, or an arcana check to see if you can spot any, um, like, magical, like, essence or stuff around. Hell. Yeah, you're, you're specifically- Both those just, are mine spun. Um, if you would like to mention it to any of the other crew- and, Oh, well, uh, shit, that was an 18, so, uh, oh, 17. Okay. A 17? Actually. What, yes. uh, what specifically did you roll for? Investigation or? Uh... Uh, I'm gonna go with probably investigation would be more in character for them. Okay, so uh, with an investigation check, um, you got a pretty good look at what happened to Bardock. Um, the way that his eyes had dilated and were growing a slightly different, glowing a slightly different color, uh, the way that his posture posture just seemed a little bit wrong, um, in the way that he just stood and presented himself. Uh, and you don't see that here, not with uh, Miss Honey Applebottom. Um, she's definitely not have the best uh, stature, but that just comes from age. Um, uh, she does have like a pair of glasses, like very large glasses that make her eyes really big, meaning making it easier to see if there was any change to those. And uh, there's nothing that you couldn't see. Um, they're just um, she keeps her eyes closed most of the time, but you have definitely caught her opening them a couple of times and. They're just a nice, solid black color. I think, that, I think that they will just go, Miss Honey Apple Bottom. Also, hi. Uh, I think I brought you some carrots one time. Um, oh, you seem familiar. T T T T E C. You got it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> please, please be aware that um, whoever this individual is, they have, um. They have overpowered villains before in order to probably lure us here on purpose. So, as someone who has been a friend to Trini and Victoria in the past, please be on your guard. Understood, understood. Um, I have to ask, uh, actually, Lewis, something real quickly. Lewis, can you send me a picture that you drew earlier? Um, I did not, uh, I did not nab it, and I'm just noticing now. Then in the end. All right. Uh, so, as you guys are walking by, um, you can see. Uh... Oh, pedals! If you need to talk and you are having trouble figuring out a space, literally tell me a DM. I or just begin talking. If you get interrupted, I will make sure that you have a chance. Okay. Do you want to say something right now? Uh, not at the moment, but just for future reference, so that I can. Talk. Send a, I actually need to talk. Send a message in DM room or send me a DM. 
personally if you feel like you don't want to interrupt someone and i will give you the chance okay thank you um so as you guys begin walking past and um uh, you see miss honey apple bottom does nod her head to what you said to and um uh just points towards you guys to lead her to, the, to you guys's room uh, which is not that far of a walk as you guys do walk you do notice uh, a couple of villains are standing nearby um uh walking past you it happens to be a blue upa in tune wearing a uh <laughs> a little scientist he seemed way too nice to be a villain honestly but uh uh he just walks past you guys as you guys make it to your room um and using the little door key that you were guys were given um i know him yeah uh uh you guys enter a quite spacious room um each of you aren't given a bed. There's a large double bed. Uh, a, there's two large double beds and a couch. So some people might have to share a couple uh, a bit. Um, uh, but there's also a TV, a small refrigerator, uh, a bucket of ice already pilled, pilled to the bottom, um, and a complimentary wine bottle. Um, uh, not the fanciest stuff, but a pretty fancy bottle. Um, plus a restroom on the end. Um, with that, um, Miss Sunny Applebottom pulls back together and um, she says, My name's been kept, just saying. And he was brought here on this boat? Well, that's. That is the conclusion we'd come to. Um, also, Jade. Yeah. Question. Yeah. Um, can I pull out, uh, the replicate wand of magic detection because my boy is a little bit paranoid and wants to see if Go there's ahead. anything, uh, yeah. Yeah, feel free. You can pull that yeah. out. So you just, yeah, it's I'll just to have cast to roll hammer magic. space first. Yeah. It's just to cast detect okay. magic. Yeah, just cast detect magic. And he pulls it out with no problem. Okay. Um, so... Taking a minute to cast Detect Magic using your wand, um, your eyes glow for a little bit, and um, you begin detecting any magical frequencies. There is uh, a couple of magic things all around. First of all, the actual, like, most of the energy in this room, like the plugs, all of the lights are magical in nature. They're just light spells and eternal flames, um, variations on eternal flames. Um, the ice bucket um, is actually magical. It is an ever-filling ice bucket. Um, so whenever you scoop out enough, it'll eventually fill back up to the brim. Um, uh, but apart from that, there's nothing else magical in this room. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a yeah. fucking top of the line cruise lighter, baby. Juniper, who used to live on a boat, um, for a while, it's just like, yeah, no, this is a pretty standard standard ho kind of cruise uh -huh. room so yeah, this is you... normal <laughs> this is normal <laughs> but um can juniper cast alarm on the door and like jam it a little bit uh yeah. with one of her doorknob locks that she brings just everywhere <laughs> easy enough to do so you just jam uh you put an alarm uh, put a door knock lock, uh, door knob lock, and then uh, if you want, just for the funny sake, uh, put a chair under it. Um, and with that, you feel pretty well protected uh, from my anybody entering the room. Uh, Juniper, handshake, Camille, paranoid. Yeah, no, you guys are valid. <laughs> yeah, this is, this would be the place to be paranoid. Yep. So. Yeah, Camille styles his wand after that because okay yeah uh just remind me that you still have that for 10 minutes so if this takes less than 10 minutes and you guys go outside i may give you a little all right yeah um, he's keeping it up got it. so uh, with that miss honeywell before continues her question and just says oh. somebody who passed an enchantment on this uh, brought trini on board yes As we understand it. Mm-hmm. Well. 
As far as I know, all passengers that enter and leave the boat have to go through at least the lobby, and everyone is accounted for, even people who you kidnapped and bring in, because we have do have a holding cell for most of those. Uh, complimentary holding cells for each uh, for each uh, or come or come with each ticket. Um, <laughs> complimentary holding cells. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what? I, I don't know. No, I don't know I what you want out of me. This is a villain, Scrooge. Yeah. Okay, but Juniper is not a villain. Her parents are. Yeah. Well, you know. Her freaking cousins are. Like her cousin, her little brothers, everyone else in her in her family is the villain, not her. Yeah. <laughs> so, if they are here, or if they're still here, um, or if they came here at one point, then they have to be on the ship's lobby, which would be behind the lobby. I attempted to take over the ship once or twice in my youth. Uh, that's something that no. happens often. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. It usually, if you uh, <laughs> if you do happen to succeed for that year, uh, for that month, your next trip is on them. They usually take it back. Believe me, it's a bit of a game here. Most serious villains don't really see a need to, and most uh, weaker villains and quotation marks. Um, fail, so you usually left with the Saturday morning villains who just have fun. He gives uh, a nod at that. Achaius. Achaius, I already know which category my dad falls under. <laughs> I hate this! I hate this! Uh, well, that's one option. Uh, they say, uh, fluttering up to be on Juniper's shoulder. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, push comes to shove. We could probably pull it off. Take over the ship? <laughs> no, I don't want to. Uh, okay. Do you well, um, need a moment, Juniper? To sit down? That might be a good idea. And she's gonna oh. go over to the slot face first into it. TSC, I'm sorry. <laughs> no. This is fine. This is their life. You see, by the you way, also throughout, this into a hug. throughout this entire time, Victrola has been putting away their stuff on the ship. Oh, beloved. Like, uh, <laughs> definitely, this does make you like the only adult. Uh, still functional, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How's that feel? Um. Uh, uh. TLC will be right back over to Brain Cell Club as soon as they're done being a stuffed toy. Also, I'm just gonna go up to Victrola while, uh, while she's putting her stuff away and. Um, I really recommend keeping more valuable stuff in the camera. Because this is a villain. Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, somebody might, you know. This is. Break oh. it, but... I mean. And I hate to say it like this, but. I mean. I'm gonna need to get new clothes anyways. Most of my stuff didn't really make it, so. And she just keeps on hanging whatever she has left. Oh. Man. Right. We will bully Trini into taking you clothes shopping once we're done. <laughs> I'm sure. I will take you clothes shopping once we're done. Like I say, if you need clothes, I got you. Wait, I can just make some. <laughs> I forgot this is what I do. Uh, I make things. I need clothes shopping FPS after, after kids sure. missing TV. Yes. <laughs> Girls night. But... Girls night. Um, alright. So what are you lot planning to do? Because I, honestly, I'm not still there in my prime. I can't uh, help that much. Uh, but I am willing to help you if uh, you need it. The mainly information we need. Yes, my own object. I don't... Yeah, 
Yeah. You go. Yeah, sure. Uh. Jade muted. Well, straight straight back. I'm back. I'm so sorry. What were you saying, okay. Titles? No, you're good. Well, it's mostly information for at the moment. We haven't really found enough. We don't really have enough you know, things to go off and really go into action, I guess is the best way to say it. Well, and we're going to need the ship's log. That'll tell you where the heck Chiming was, if he was being held in one of the cells. Who and has access crew. to that? Well, all of the crew members, technically, but it's behind the lobby, and um, I don't know if you passed it on your way here, but it's bulletproof grass, glass. Um, and it is. There is bulletproof glass right behind the lobby. Um, there is a door that leads from somewhere, but you guys aren't quite sure. Um, what Miss Honey Applebottom does do is um, draw you a pretty intricate map of the ship um, uh, on like a piece of paper that they just nab out of a desk. This is the only way in and out, mostly because a lot of the money for the ship is being held in a vault back there. So they, uh, they, uh, they don't like people entering, if you get my drift. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. They put the people who hate them next to the money. One more time. Okay. So they put the people who hate them next to where their money. Okay. Yeah, it's right behind it. It's right behind it. It's alluring. Some people do actually have uh, made it before. They make it a bit of a game. A lot of the time, they just take all the, most of the money out and put it somewhere else, off ship. Off ship. Off ship. You know, that I know nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, there is the vault is back there, but that is where the ship's log would be kept. Um, you'd have to find a way inside. There is a small route through some employee um, uh, tunnels, uh, but that requires sneaking <laughs> and deception. And deception, correct. I look at puppy grandma. Oh, He's yeah, good at neither. not very good at sneaking, but... I look at Daffodils that has expertise in both. Camille's <laughs> <laughs> very good that? at lying, but he's terrible at sneaky. TUC is taking a piece of paper from the desk and writing crew member on it and sticking it on top of the word child on their t-shirt. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> they have a minus one. They have a minus one. Obviously. I might be able to assist one of you if you do happen to want to sneak into there and get the chips log. If one of us sneaks into the ship's log, then the rest of us can come up with a plan after, like, for Deering and after that. You'd also need a distraction for whoever would be nabbing them. I can do that. Distraction. <laughs> I can also do a <laughs> distraction. Well, I can cause a ruckus. I just have to be a <laughs> dick. <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> but I'm doing it. I'm I think it's think. a really good idea to- Oh. I was gonna say, uh, Victrola does come up and just say, I'm pretty good at sinking. I could go in there and, uh, take the ship's block. I'd like to say I'm also pretty good at sneaking around. Yeah, I would you prefer he should... didn't go alone, Vic. Okay, so me and Daffodil. I... Camille nods at that. <sighs> Daffodil seems like a normal, trustworthy person. <laughs> Absolutely, definitely. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> I think that we so... should make it a, um, a, a, a rule from here on out to use the buddy system. Um, no one goes to make a distraction on their own. The TSC looks at Juniper, and no one uh, sneaks into the heart of the villain-controlled cruise ship. They look at the rogues. I am insulted. I am affronted. How dare you assume that I would do that on my own? <laughs> you would do it on your own. Anyways. Listen. Oh my god. Listen. 
I'm right though. Um, so if that's the plan, then um, give me uh ten minutes. And um, you see uh, Miss Honey Applebottom uh, reach into her little pocketbook, uh, like that she pulls out from underneath, uh, from like behind her, um, and reaches super deep in and takes out this really big sewing machine. <gasps> you sew! <laughs> yes. I never leave my home without it. And uh, takes out a bunch of uh, thread and uh, so, uh, uh, fabric. And uh, you see, with the quickness of an expert that has been doing this for absolute years, um, a almost perfect replica of the ship's uniform uh, that fits perfectly on Daffodil and perfectly on Victrola. I love You're that. Like the best. <laughs> You are the best. A handshake. You it's selling. <laughs> I would mean, if you also like to sew, we should trade some tricks, uh, tips and tricks like that. Yes, I do a lot of hair and stitching. <laughs> um, but with that, uh, the both of you are given uh, a, basically a ship's uniform. If you want to put that in your inventory. Um, I will. And, um, with that, the plan is set. Unless you guys have anything else you want to do, I uh, we should probably figure out what the distraction is gonna be. Uh, you said that there was a like a, a wine bar sort of situation. Say that again. You said that there is like a bar, like a what bar situation? Um, there is a, uh, a place called the Tavern Brawl Tavern, but that is currently closed because there's an event going on that's going to be happening later in the day. It is currently still morning and people are still like arriving, getting on the, uh, getting on the ship, um, oh, getting to the room. Sorry, I thought that there was... There is... I'm so sorry. No, you're good. Uh, I will say that if you're looking for a bar, uh, in the lobby itself, there's a couple of like little stores and stuff like that. And one of them is like a normal standard like ship bar that has like uh, stools and like a worker working on it. You see like multiple villains that are just like really early in the morning getting their drink on. I I, was... I have an idea. Uh -huh. I, but I will let you guys. Go ahead, author. Sorry, uh, I I think I uh, misheard the, the description of the uh, the room. Because if there was flammable liquid, THC would have just sort of pocketed that. Um, but it doesn't sound as if there's flammable liquid in the hotel room or the cruise room. Oh, the in cabin. the cruise, in the ca like in the cabin? Yeah. Um, no, there's no, there's nothing like flammable. There's no uh, like this. They don't, they don't want to. You gotta bring your own. <laughs> mhm. Mm if you want something flammable. Perfectly understandable. Yeah. Um. So? What is the distraction you guys are planning? I have... Hmm. Is I have one idea. It might be too, too nice. I have one idea that might be too awful. Okay, let's hear both of your if ideas. If you do them at the same time, they should cancel each other out. <laughs> I don't know if this one! Alright, go ahead. Uh, what are the... Uh, uh, Babel, you go first and I'll... Um, so Jay, do you remember Captain Dillamobile, the things that I've told you about him? Yes. And how it's a common trait in the fa in the mobile family uh -huh. to be an alcoholic uh -huh. and an aggressive one. Uh-huh. Juniper acting like she's drunk as fuck, or actually getting drunk and having to cause fights. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> You can definitely do that. There are people who are already doing that, probably downstairs. God. Um, author, what's I don't your think idea? I would. <laughs> TUC was going to propose that they tell, they go around, and they tell multiple people in sort of like a one-on-one -on -one sort of situation that. 
they're here on the cruise with someone who they really like, and they'd like to impress them. And since they're a barbarian, they'd like some help starting a bar fight. Okay. Um, and on the signal, everyone starts the bar fight. Except they say that to about 150 people. Okay. Oh First gosh. of all, I thought you were just going to end the <laughs> sentence at uh, TOC wants to propose. And I was like, excuse me? That here? <laughs> now? In my game? Okay, that would be a distraction, though. That would be a hell of a distraction, I'll tell you that much. Um, yeah, but, consider uh, it. Both. You know what? Okay. A fucking overall <laughs> proposal? Is that, is that... A drunken proposal. In the middle of the worst bar fight possibly caused. <laughs> God damn it! Okay, kids... Oh, I no. love this idea so much. Unfortunately, uh, TOC has shit performance. That's the one problem. Otherwise, okay. I'd be like, I will yes. say that this would not be performance. This would either be intimidation or athletics. Okay. For some of this, because you are you are starting a fight, so you can I could you can argue for those things if you want to. Yeah, Camila can also help with the uh, asking 150 people to start a bar fight on a signal. Because he is a very small, very adorable child. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With a plus nine deception. Fantastic. fantastic. Nothing could incite more violence. Alright. Yeah, because the other option was to go like, Hey, what if we were to be as nice as possible? <laughs> it's like very politely ask about starting a bar. <laughs> I, I have I, I I am in love with this idea. Um, if you guys really do want to go for it, I am not going to stop you. Are we going for like authors or both? I, I love the I love the idea of a mid mid brawl fight proposal. I think it would be hilarious. <laughs> I think we deserve it. I want hang on because May I ask the group for an in-character, how do we get from our fight to, Hey, TFC, why don't you propose? Um, uh, I can have, I can have Camille say something, because he is a little shit. Yeah. If you Consider what if the proposed part of it's improv. Consider, <laughs> what if every time they discuss- That one you got cut off. You died. Oh. Babble, you got super cut off. Sometimes I can still hear their voice. No. Oh no. Babble, return it. No. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. So I hand you guys that every time the proposal part is discussed, Juniper is like in the bathroom or somewhere else doing something. <laughs> Absolutely. Or maybe he just groups like, out of existence for a minute. Don't worry about no, it. Juniper is busy uh, talking to Miss Honey Applebottom about sewing tips. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Lost like, she, she they were. The the She's gonna get fucking drunk and start a bar fight, and then bring the bar fight to everyone else, probably. There you go. Yeah, she says that immediately gets distracted, and then Camille turns to TSC like, well. There was already bar fights going on when we got here, so we might need something a little more. What do you have in mind? Like what? Uh, well, um, a very easy way. Well, you probably have to take the child disguise off, but um, a child shirt <laughs> off. But uh, something that never fails to get everyone's attention, even those of villains. Maybe especially those of villains, considering the setting, uh, would be a proposal. So, I think maybe if we made <laughs> one, that I think that would definitely grab attention. I like to imagine, oh, by the funny. way, I, I like to imagine, by the way, that Victrola is looking behind Camille with a devilish smile. <laughs> looking at TOC. <laughs> That TC will go, oh, that's a wonderful idea. What am I proposing? <laughs> like, Juniper just she... obliviously talking happily about fucking sewing, tail wagging a mi million miles a minute. Daffodil has like, joined um... the sewing conversation. 
like to uh marry. There's a uh, a loading bar above to you, he said. <laughs> I think I can flub you a ring at least. <laughs> Hold on. In here. I think I have a ring pop. Hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to think. I'm it's... trying to think of a reason why this wouldn't work, and I'm failing. <laughs> Is TOC failing or is author failing? Uh, TOC is failing. I'm gung fucking ho for this. Fantastic. So like a little. It just turns magic. to Big Troll. Like, great. Uh, I if you give me that ring pop, I can make it um. Forgive the pun, pop a little more. Okay. Can I eat the ring? <laughs> can I eat the candy first? Yes, he can. goes and stands in just, a fucking corner. Yeah, just takes it out, just take it out of hammer space, and takes like a big bite out of it, and just takes that, gives back the ring. Neil takes the ring, goes over to the ice bucket, somehow <laughs> manages to shove an ice cube onto the brink pump. And these are never melt ice. Use... Yeah. <laughs> It's the never melt ice that are like it's just frozen water in a fucking colored plastic thing. <laughs> yeah, and then he's going to use magical tinkering uh to make um the um the ring actually glow <laughs> all prettily. <laughs> if that is alright. Yep. And oh, then he hands it to TOC. Like, there you go. That should do for now. I sit here. Juniper is fucking dressed to the goddamn nines, looking baller as hell. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, has a real fucking diamond necklace on. And then this is, like, her. this is going to be her fucking favorite thing. That fucking ring is going to be her favorite. <laughs> yeah, anyways. Well, that seems like a good enough uh, uh, plan. Uh, how about you get going, then? I think TOC will go into the bathroom and change out of their ch child costume into one of their nice vests because. Are you also never wearing mind the glasses? Never mind because why? Are you also wearing the glasses? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, very good. Always. Yes. They always wear the glasses. Juniper loves those glasses on them so much. Yep. <laughs> it's, it's especially funny because abyssal chickens don't have eyes. They don't have visible <laughs> eyes. It's fine. It's cool. It's yeah, chill. Those are the eyes. I point at Jackie. They have proven that you don't need eyes to see. <laughs> yeah. Either way. So, with the plan set and um, uh, already started, um, a lot of you split up. Miss Honey, Apple Bottom, Daffodil, and Victrola are heading downwards uh, into the below decks. Uh, Miss Honey, Apple Bottom, avoiding, uh, helping you guys avoid most of the other crew members and guiding you towards an entryway in which. Um, she has drawn to you a little map of which stairways and hallways to follow to get to the top. Meanwhile, a lot of you head back up towards the lobby, um, where you will begin preparing your distraction. Um, Victrola has told you that um, you guys, uh, she will send you a message um, once they're in position, and you guys can begin. Yep. All right. I guess I'll roll deception to see how good Camille is at being the cute, innocent kid asking people to fight to the death. So, um... <laughs> okay! Uh, yeah, Camille, oh I need God. you an inception check. Uh, uh, I also wish uh, should I guess what he got? Uh, um, you, uh, Daffodil, before... are getting guidance and help, so you have advantage and a d4 to your stealth checks. Um, Ayo, also uh, I've decided against using physical dice because they betray me every time. Understandable. Uh, feel free to roll somewhere else. I guess down. this will too, but at least that's a plus 11. <laughs> okay, and, and a d4. And you're also good. You also have advantage because you're getting help from Victoria. Alright, so that's 8 plus 11, so 19 total. Okay. Um, Wait, with advantage? Yeah, with <gasps> advantage because uh, Victoria is giving oh, you shit. help. That's an eight. Okay, that okay. That makes it a twelve plus eleven, so twenty-two. Okay. For deception. Cool, 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 cool. Um, I, I will uh, author from you. I need uh, 
what would you like to roll? Because you have your a couple of options of deception, or if you want intimidation or uh, 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 athletics, that could work too. Also, would persuasion work as well for asking people about? Yes, that too. Sorry, it was intimidation, athletics, uh, persuasion, or what was the other one? Or deception. Uh, they're gonna go with uh, athletics on that one. Yeah. Just kind of like uh, punching someone and then dragging them away and then like getting somebody else and having them uh, like punch each other. Um, uh, Babel, same thing to you. Uh, you can either roll deception, persuasion, athletics, or um, uh, what's the last one? Intimidation. Um... Is it possible I could roll con? Because I feel like... I think she's actually gonna drink. <laughs> oh! Oh, you wanna actually drink? She's thinking All right. right now... What's your what's your con how modifier? How much do I love Triny? Yeah, and am I willing what is to go all in? So this is a... I have an actual rule for drinking. So what is your con modifier? Uh, her con mod is a plus two. Plus two. So you slam back two drinks immediately. No change. That's how much you can usually take. Um, that'll be about a gold. These are very expensive drinks. Um, but um, uh, on the third one, I need you to roll my constitution saving. Are you, are you gonna keep going until you feel you are drunk enough to start a bar fight? Um. <laughs> this is a very important mm. question. She will go to until she feels like she's getting close to that point. So mostly you're not because, going fully but, drunk, you're just going tipsy. Yeah, at least until she gets the fucking, uh, the signal. Okay. To start the distraction. Uh, and then she's gonna start chugging. <laughs> roll, me two, roll me two constitution saving throws. Joyous, I love this. Constitution saving throws. Where is your con save? Thank fuck you have proficiency in that. Alright. 14 plus 5. I gotta do math. That's a 19 for the first one. And that's the wrong chat. <laughs> anybody anybody who's looking, don't look right now. Uh, but I need to... Actually, I can just do this. Um, uh, a second. Okay, so that's a 19 for the first. And that was a point, so that was nothing. That's a 19? Yeah, you, you uh, definitely have made it. Roll another one, please. This is all happening one was a 13. 13? Wait. So, you are now tipsy. Wait. 13 plus 5. 13 plus 5? You're That's not 18. tipsy. You need to slam another one down if you want to be if you want to keep going there. So another another constitution saving throw. This is all happening at the exact same time, by the way. I'm gonna describe the entire scene in one go. God, Juniper, please. <laughs> That's a ten. Because <laughs> it was a five plus five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, Polly. Oh, not yet, but... That's a ten. All right. Listen. She she thinks it's worth it. If it gets Triny back in the end, she doesn't care. No, this is good. Oh, this is good, honey. actually. Mm. All right, so. <laughs> so. <laughs> almost um, like, like a clockwork. Um, once Miss Honey Applebottom has guided you to the lower floor of Staffordor and Victrola, um, she grabs a little key. You see her fedango with a with a key lock, um, and immediately opens the door for you guys. Twist the porthole, uh, or twist the little turny uh, thing that tokens up the wheel, and open the door for you guys to sneak in. Um, and then she just stands there waiting for you guys to get back. Um, immediately, daffodil, um, you can feel a tap on your shoulder as you are guidance, and you have help from Victrola uh, in this uh, in the stealth check, and almost like you're slipping into the shadows. You. Stand up straighter, uh, uh, look forward. Anybody who passes by you doesn't take a single glance at you. You are just, like, you look like you mean business. You are taking somebody there. Victrola has, like, a little small uh, stack of towels so they can barely see behind her. They just think she's a very short worker. Um, 
Uh, and in doing so, you follow the map all the way up and down. Um, Can I say something? Yes, sir. Uh, at, uh, at the guidance, Daffodil gives uh, Victrilla a smile and winks, and a bardic inspiration for her. Oh, fantastic. She's not rolling, but she's going to keep that for later. Uh, uh, I do need you to, if you can, actually, she actually is going to use it, and I'm going to roll a little sleight of hand. She's going to guidance herself. Uh, so she'll get the D6. What's her bardic inspiration? Uh, D6, I believe. D6? Yes, it is a D6. All right, D6. D6. So she'll get a D6 and a D4 for this. And it'll be 20. Um, that's 13 plus 7. She uh, has extra pieces in this. Um, so that's already a 20, but let's just roll these and this. So a 4 and a 6. Oh, no. So with a 30. <laughs> So with a 30, um, you barely even take notice. Only because you take a glance back um, as you guys are walking past one of the other employees. And you see uh, Victrola having thought of something, uh, just almost innocuously reaches down, pulls something off of somebody's uh, belt buckle. And you see it is an ID badge, which she tucks away into one of her, uh, uh, into her own belt. And um, uh, just to open up later the, the main doors. Um, um, with that, I said, forget. Was there anything I needed to roll here? Uh, no, you're so, fine. This the stealth was the oh, roll you needed. Right. You needed to look like you meant business and sneak into here without being noticed, and that's what you have done. Um, Ew. Uh, easily enough, really a lot of you. Uh, what's up? Uh, never mind. Yeah, easily enough, a lot of you make your way up, and as you guys are getting closer to where you uh, to the same Flores lobby, uh, you see Victrola shoots a little message and. The three of you. Uh, uh, Camille, um, you are... Roll, you roll Deception, correct? Yeah, and he got a... Uh, 20, not 20, not 20, so that's plus a 29. Three. Yeah, a 29. So, um, you see some of the... Like, some of the uh, more uh, cute-aligned villains uh, begin to, like, uh, look in you, uh, what you're saying. And they're, like, they're leaning in close and, like, so you're noticing and they're nodding and they're, like... We're, we're ready when when you say your call we start throwing punches um it's for his little evil book report uh-huh uh-huh uh <laughs> uh poc what exactly did you roll again uh they rolled a 21 yeah but what was the was the skill oh behind? athletics athletics um so Beginning a little bit earlier than the usual, you begin uh, like by bumping into somebody really hard to the point where they fall off the chair. They haven't even noticed that they uh, they got bumped by you. Instead, uh, they like grab and fucking like punch the person right next to them. And like uh, you're starting out like a very small bar fight already in this small area, um, beginning to increase it. This is starting to get big. Uh, and um, juniper. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> you get a bartender who just uh, uh, who just looks at you and nods and refills your drink. Um, like definitely seeing the um, saddened look up on your face and nodding almost in understanding. Bartenders have seen it all. Um, um, and as you do so, the three of you, um, not simultaneously but very quickly in succession. Uh, each get a message in, in, we're almost there, begin the fight. And that's the trigger. Yep. And hell Real breaks. Is everyone is nine as well. <laughs> yep. And hell right. breaks. Yep. Um, <laughs> there are punches, there are dust clouds, there are, like, uh, like people flying out of a, like portholes uh, into different directions. Uh, you see at one point somebody re goes into the kitchen and comes back out and they're carrying like multiple of the knives uh, and they're jumping back into the dust cloud itself. Uh, you see the workers uh, somehow got in on it. They're like, fuck it. And they rip off their uniforms and just jump in. Um, and it is fucking pandemonium in the lobby. Um, uh, immediately, there's a uh, almost a, a beep as like the security is like all security to the main lobby, please. We got a biggest bar fight in this side of a uh, uh, in the last twenty years going on already. 
um, going already. And even that causes more people to come in as they want to go see it and they get stuck into this uh, fight in of itself. That is the cue for a lot of you. And you see Victrola slip on, uh, uh, put the little, uh, like, uh, tag onto a, a little passcode, uh, beep screen, the thing opens. Uh, the two employees who are working in the lobby desk uh, have uh, immediately get out and escape. Like, oh, you gotta get out of here, guys! And <laughs> um, uh, you guys are free to rummage through. You have about ten. I'm gonna say ten minutes to rummage through this lobby, uh, Daffodil. All right, cool. God. Uh, so you're getting a. Uh... Yeah, I guess immediately heading towards like some sort of counter area to, uh -huh. like, you know, where where papers would usually be. Uh, and I'm yeah. guessing it's an investigation check? Yeah, a small investigation check. Um, you still have, you get another guidance from Victrola. Victrola is also going to be rolling. Um, her investigation is not that good. She rolls a 17, though. Um, she's looking in a All different right, place. Plus two. Uh, what'd you roll? There you go first. 14 plus 2, so that's a 16 total. 16 and a 17. So, um, it takes both of you a... a couple of minutes it is because uh, you're you're rushing this is a this isn't a like this isn't a pretty job but um almost at the same time the both of you reach uh like notice that most of the documents here are dated um so you begin going back a couple of days the trini wouldn't be here for today obviously unless he was still on the boat um so not noticing his name on those lists you begin going back over and over and over and it takes you a little bit longer until you find a couple of days back there is an entry not for trini uh, and not a name you recognize, Daffodil, but one that Victrola does. Trini's villain persona. And she points at it and says, Wait, and that's that's Trini. It's not his name, but that's his, that's 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 the persona he uses whenever he goes to the villain bar. Or to the villain coffee shop. Um, and looking it over you see uh fifth floor down room 131 um, and you see there are like this uh, going back to the previous notes um, you can now find that oh Trini has been here he still checked in somebody's still paying for his room Daffodil just looks to the back of the paper and kind of not really giving me much dialogue here, but <laughs> can't figure out a thing to say. Can't think of anything to say. Gosh dang it. Uh, do you write down the number like, and stuff? Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Daffodil quickly pulls out her... I actually need to go... Uh... Oh, clicked on the wrong thing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the roll hammer space real quick so she can get something. Okay, that's a success. All right, so... Uh, Daphne quickly pulls out her, uh, little notepad that she carries around because her memory is shit, and, uh, write, quickly writes down that, uh, room number. Mm -hmm. Uh, Victrola, uh, just rises it, and then, all right, it seems like security's starting to get here. We should probably get out. Yeah, we should leave. Yeah, and, and... putting back everything, uh, as much orderly as you can, uh, head back out. Um, there are a couple of names that uh, did stand out to you, uh, to uh, you guys, uh, it's like VIP member, VIP member, VIP members. There's a lot of VIP members on the ship tonight, um, for whatever reason. That, uh, that is, uh, like, compared to the other sheets that you guys saw for the previous days, there weren't as many. Today, um, specifically just for today only, a lot of the VIP members have a one-day uh, cruise uh, uh, access, and there's a lot of names on the back. I wonder if Daffodil had seen any names she might recognize on there. None. Um. I forgot to say things. Yeah, you know what? Sorry. Fuck it. Uh, fuck it. Roll. Uh, roll a history check real quickly. If you if you think you would mm. recognize them. Uh. Right. I was supposed to give you all this information beforehand, but you know what? Oh, that's the that one. Never mind. There. There is nothing. Nobody here. Definitely. Uh, no one related to anything here. I'm gonna say that um, I'm gonna say that instead of like there being nobody here, you might not rec you might recognize. 
um, that instead you guys are in such a hurry that you don't manage to catch um, any names quickly mm -hmm. enough. Um, cool beans. Uh, with that, you guys make your way out, head down um, with a small hurried look that uh, matches most of the other employees, heading downwards uh, and past it and open the door again, and uh, slipping into a bathroom to change your clothes really quickly and then throw them out. And almost like nothing had happened for the rest of you. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> author. Feels just yeah. standing back watching Hi. this chaos of a small smile. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Uh, yeah, author. You see a very drunk Juniper uh, absolutely fucking pulling and grabbing somebody by the hair and twisting them around and launching them off. Uh, punching people <laughs> left and right, um, uh, so on and so forth. Um, the distraction has worked. You did see Daffodil and Victrola really quickly enter the lobby and then grab something and leave. Um, but um, you do see security is about to arrive, and it might not look pretty for you guys unless you do something else. Uh, you have seen the beginning of the panic, so um, they would like, like to ring. Great time. <laughs> They would like to rage, and they're going to grab a chair, break it on the ground, and sign, like, sign, shout, and then realize they can't use Juniper's name because it's not the right one, and they're not using the one that she doesn't like, and they go, uh, my love. <laughs> and they get to <laughs> <home> <laughs> and if you don't call her by name, she's not gonna understand! She's too drunk for that! You guys can come up with a fake name really quickly if you guys want. So, so something that you would have been called each other. I mean, she's used June this, on this ship. I think everyone knows. Wait, hold on. They, they throw a chair at Juniper and they go, Hey, you! <laughs> that will get her attention! There you go. And <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing that. I wrote something. <laughs> oh my hey. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hi. Hello. Uh, Juniper, this is the most terrifying and adrenaline rushed you have ever seen your friend. As they get down on one knee and they look at you and they say, <laughs> they sign, you have opened your heart and your home to me. You have brought me nothing. You have taught me that nothing that is broken cannot be fixed, and that life must be filled with joy on purpose. I want to spend the rest of our natural lives being the partner you deserve and the complex you acquire. We eat together, we rest together, we laugh together, and now we fight together. Fuck it, why not get married? And they hold out the horrible ring pop proposal <laughs> ring. A horrible glowing icy ring pop. Um, before you respond, Babel, um, I just want to say that the moment that this occurs, it's almost like a record scratch. Like everybody who is made like fighting each other, like just immediately stops and looks in their guys' direction. Uh, like somebody's being held by the scruff of the neck and they're just hanging there, and somebody's holding back a punch. Um, there's somebody who's about to be hit in the chair, um, and like they're all just looking in your direction. Juniper's got the dumbest fucking look on her face as she's just staring at you. <laughs> well, like, she is not steady on her feet. It has taken so much energy for her to be steady on her feet because her, uh, her hips have been acting up, man. She's in pain. But also, now she's fucking drunk as shit. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She's got a stupid look on her face, and it's extra stupid because she's fucking plastered. <laughs> um, and she just stares at TOC for a moment. And in the most drunken stupor that she could, that is actually natural. <laughs> she's very confused. They have not at any point admitted to each other that they love each other. They have not. <laughs> TUC also I, loves the black drama very much. They have been repressing the shit out of it. I thought I thought we uh we were married, but you know what? I love I I love you. 
so much. <laughs> and there is a sheer. <laughs> and both of you are like almost picked up and like carried uh like <laughs> off of stage by like literally everybody who's like there's people who are bloodied and bruised and like batted uh and like it's just it the, the pandemonium just stops and like it's almost like a cheer of like vi like just a bunch of villains holding you guys up and like carrying you off onto the deck um and just like pure hey. joy I th wait. I want to. I I gotta kiss the uh, group. <laughs> I gotta kiss. The group. <laughs> wait. I gotta kiss my broom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, easy enough. I will say, roll the d twenty, please. Just, just really roll quick for me. Yeah, just really quick for me. Let's see if you remember this. That's a six. <laughs> I'll let you know after you stop being drunk. <laughs> question. I have a question for Val. Yeah. Yeah. Does Juniper actually look like legitimately happy? Yes. She looks fucking thrilled. <laughs> TUC comes to two realizations. The first is that Juniper was not party to this plan. The second is that they will not be telling her that this was supposed to be fake. They're engaged now. Fantastic. Good. Amazing. <laughs> Lovely. Um, I will say that um, uh, a couple of employees uh, uh, do come around and security is steps back once they notice uh, about the proposal. And I say, I say like, um, hand you both, like, uh, uh, basically, like free dinner uh, on the ship. Um, they would have preferred if you told them that you were going to propose in the middle of a ship because that's usually what you you are supposed to do. But they don't want to do. They want to save face. They are giving you guys a free dinner uh, on the ship, fanciest uh, one of the fancy establishments they have uh, with a very fancy wine. Um, that's up to you guys to take or not. This, this might. Fuck things up a little bit, but it's very in character for a very drunk Juniper. You guys are so sweet. I had no idea. <laughs> You're I... disassociating in her arms. I'm I'm gonna take my my broom and I'm gonna go lay down. <laughs> yep. Uh, you do see a couple of the employees uh, begin like uh, asking around. Does anybody know what room they're staying in? Um, uh, in the fact, they asked yeah. the non drunk one, and then they uh, they they help all of you be guided over there so you can rest. Um, <laughs> meanwhile, there's now a party on the deck. <laughs> As people have taken this as uh, a time of celebration. Uh, <laughs> with that, everyone meets up in the room. <laughs> They are going to have to invite so many dangerous people to this wedding. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, not what I didn't By the have way, this, this I, is entirely unplanned yeah, on no, both this, mine this and Alter's part. This yeah. is not on this was not on the like this was not on the plan speed at all. Um it was it was originally a joke, but I feel like we had to run with it. So it's perfect. Um uh, anyways. Yeah, we get yeah. to a wedding FPS too. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so good fucking gravy. Um, I regret with nothing. That, uh, a lot of you meet up. Uh, you see, uh, <laughs> uh, as you guys all meet up, uh, noticing the drunk Juniper, uh, Miss Honey Applebottom reaches into her little uh, coin purse again and uh, pulls out a small canteen and um, puts it over your nose and opens it and just lets you waft it. And instantly, you are awake. Like, it what has... the fuck? <laughs> My hangover kill. I've been sweating. Um, the risk was calculated. I am only slightly regretting things. <laughs> you are good at math. Oh, 
like it's not it's something obvious that me and I that will be a fun word for later obviously if you want to say that in uh, yeah. the character's voice um anyways uh <laughs> Uh, with that, <laughs> um, well, uh, what did you guys smash again? Uh, looking at that with Victrola. I realized I actually muted. I I did the face up for like two seconds at the wrong time, apparently. <laughs> You're so good. You repeat what you said, what, like the last sentence or two. I literally just said, like, uh, look, Miss Sunny Applebottom is looking at you both and you say, did you manage to get? Uh, we got, we got the, the Chinese room number. So he was staying- They're at least still on the ship. He was staying in a room? I thought you lot said you got kidnapped. Well. Hmm. I mean, knowing that uh, that other guy that we had to fight got brainwashed, it wouldn't be too out of left field if Trini did too. Hmm. Well, but why? Well, maybe he's mistaken here and used his name, I don't know. Hold on a minute. Wait, that, certain things don't make sense, though. Like, why? So, we all, well, everyone except for Mrs. Applebottom saw, um, the video. <clears throat> of that and how it ended and how it ended for you Mrs. Applebottom and she and Juniper with her giant paw gives like a very gentle and kind of awkward pat on on the shoulder <laughs> it, it's very gentle despite being a very strong puppy <laughs> and um, she continues it is that Chiny, I think, if I remember, passed out on the floor having been hit in the head? No, that is, not, that, is not how, that is not how the video ended. Um, the, the way that, if, if, you, if you would like a little reminder, the, the way that the video ended was um, with Chiny looking in a mirror, because Chiny can't record um, from a third person perspective, so he needed to look at something to be able to look at the person. Uh, you were looking at things from Chinese perspective, and um, okay. the the way that the video ended was with Chinese specifically saying, "Don't follow me, I'm sorry." And um, what you heard was the crash of glass, and there was a struggle, but some uh, you did not see Chinese uh, fall down, like basically. Okay. So the video cut off. I before don't know that. where that came from. Then. So I apologize. She no basically worries. says <laughs> what actually happened, because my brain. You're valid. That's what. That's what you can. You can just say that. Okay. Yeah. Well, our best bet would probably be to check out that room then. Um. Uh, fifth floor, one thirty-one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Are Is you lot of right? Water. What? You yes. look like you might need some rest. I do need water. I have some on me. One second, and she reaches into the Bitcoin purse, um, and you see pull out a bottle, like a very, very fancy bottle, um, uh, of um, slightly green um, liquid um, that seems very thick, and she says, "Drink this." I was hoping to save it, but when I had on my last day, before when I got caught in my French shit face, um, but this <laughs> will help you. Uh, guys, I'm so sorry. Could we take like a five minute break? Uh, yeah. Something has just come up. No worries. I'm so yeah, sorry. No take a break. Eat. I gently pat you off. I will be back. I'm so sorry. Eat. You're good. We had break time. Uh, wow, a lot happened in the first part of this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Engagement. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, marriage be upon you. Also, Jade, you're doing so well. Like, you're DMing, DMing very well. It's good. really wonderful, yes. 
Alright. I and think I'm going to is... go uh, take care of some things as well. I will be back. Yeah. Okay. Jade, my beloved. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I hold this game. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also I... hold you in a PC. Yeah. I'm glad you like it a lot. Also, some of the other folks that you passed on the way here um, that were definitely uh, also on the deck before the party started. <laughs> Listen, man, don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh, God. I'm now just looking I, at the... Yep. Go ahead. No, I'm just looking at the gallery now. Yeah, how, are you, how are you doing? How are you doing, folks? <laughs> Also, wait, I can't recall if this happened or not, but did they, like, did either of the two mention that the whole proposed thing happened? Uh, Victrula knew about the plan. She wouldn't have mentioned it once they get back, so. Definitely not paying <laughs> attention to that part. It's fine. I'm gonna... You are wearing, by the way, Juniper, once you come back to it, you're wearing a ring. Yeah, she sure is! You don't know where she the fuck sure it came is. from. You don't remember she the proposal? Sure? She doesn't remember the proposal? Yeah. You know what? No, fuck it. Damn. I, I, no, I like, I like the idea of you remembering the proposal. I kind That's of like the one remember. thing that she does remember. Yeah. <laughs> it's a singular thing. Also, I'm half tempted to roll perception check to see if Daffodil even notices the ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do it. When we get back, 18. she's... I mean, hubby grandma is just staring at it while it's on her finger, and her, like, face just continues to get more and more red, and, like, her tail just continues thumping on the bed. Nuffle's <laughs> just like, oh, nice ring. How do you get that? <laughs> Lot elevator. <laughs> Lot elevator. TLC proposed to me during a drug fight! <laughs> oh, congratulations! She's not questioning it. <laughs> this is the uh, best day! Sort of. It's... Yeah. I'm full of right, the tree, full of cells. I'm very proud of that one. <laughs> the red tree holding it's, it's, it's the best day and the worst day. It's a roller coaster day. But... This, this moment, this moment was good. Also, after this game, I'm so drawing the, like... Oh, I guess I might as well put on uh, like music a... again. Oh, uh, yeah. I forgot there wasn't any music. It was so caught up in the moment. Yeah, I had the bar fight the soundtrack going, um, but I forgot to sit on the feet, so I just played once. It's fine now. Yeah, I am so drawing the, like, the, the part, like, that part where it's, like, um, fuck, shit, how do I describe shit, uh, like, well, uh, I guess kind of like a split screen of what, what's happening, like, when the party was split up <laughs> for this entire yeah. segment. Oh, if you think, uh, hey, y'all, get ready, um, this is not the first time you're splitting up. Oh boy, we're splitting the party multiple times. Good thing we have an even amount of party members. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless you. Oh, I guess you do. Well, I mean, someone's going with someone. Someone's taking one of the NPCs. Two people are taking one of the NPCs anyways. <coughs> Chloe, what the fuck do you mean you have staged a fake proposal as a distraction on a cruise ship one. For real. <laughs> LARP cruises are the best, I guess. <laughs> okay, you're gonna need to 
fucking tell me that story one day. And also, I need to go on a cruise with you for that. Holy shit, that needs to be my first cruise. Also, yeah, Victrola isn't taking shit right now. She's gonna crunch the, uh, uh, the hard candy. Mmm, candy. I haven't had ring pops in ages. <laughs> Day 30. <laughs> uh. Oh, well. I Clean wool. I'm back. Actually, I might as well do something while we're waiting. I'm literally just reading the, the gallery and I'm very happy. I gotta keep my room. And it's very fun. <laughs> My longest yeah boy ever. A win for the LGBTQ plus community. <laughs> Coming to TFC after you. I'm engaged. I got engaged on a villain's cruise. This is gonna be wild. Is Chinese gonna wake up and be like, What? <laughs> Camille is just. Oh, he did not expect this to actually yield results, but you know what? Good for them. Good for them. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> man, about? sometimes you're a puppy and a chicken, and you're extremely gay for each other, and yet neither of you makes a move until something like this happens. <laughs> <laughs> it, while I was doing the thing that I was doing, I passed my mom, and I was like, my DM character just uh, proposed to someone, and she went, oh, that's alarming. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are we uh, are we all back or is uh, no pedals isn't here yet? God, God, it, TUC has so many emotions. Trini's still gone. They're dealing with that poorly. Um, then they were yeah. going to have to propose to their crush, uh, who they were really trying hard not to let on that they loved her, but she seems really happy. Um, so I guess they're just gonna go along with this. Everything okay, happened there. so much. Everything <laughs> happened so much. <laughs> also, <laughs> author, the author, reaction. also, author, I will say, I do apologize that, if that isn't how you wanted to do this. I... I, I wiggle. It, the characters do be like that, my friend. <laughs> yeah. uh, it, thank you for letting us hijack uh, the yeah, game you've been playing for months with gay. <laughs> Here. Everything is fine. Everything is cool. Everything is quirky. Oh, Petals, are you back? Mm-hmm. All right, is everyone back? I've returned. Everyone back, Fletcher? Yep, I'm here. Author, Fletcher, Bible, everyone here. Okay. If that is everyone, um, then I think we can get back to it. Um, so, uh, we were at, um, so, so we have Chinese room then. Well, it would serve to investigate and see if we can find anything there. What about you lot? You do, are you alright? You seem quite happy, actually. There is, um, a lot. That happened. TOC is not in right now. Please leave a message. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Babel, uh, if you did drink, um, if Juniper did drink the uh, potion that you got from uh, Sunny Apple Bottom, it is a uh, uh, poison, uh, a potion of cure poison, as well as a greater healing potion. So you are back to full. Um, you did take some damage. I just never told you, and you're back to full, and also. 
all of the alcohol is now out of your system. Hella. It is a very expensive she potion. Is you can tell me Sunny Apple Bottom was expecting to get hella drunk. She's very afraid to ask, looking down into the empty bottle of like, how shit face were you intending on being? <laughs> but she's I've not been... going to ask. Not the first time I've been thrown overboard. Anyways. Concerning. I worry for your health. Oh, please, these hips are still kicking, aren't they? You know what? Uh, yeah. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, I get that. And with that, uh, and shake. <laughs> is there anything else we need? Um, we down. Somebody's still paying for hmm. Tiny's room. And Victoria speaks up. Since it hasn't been taken over by anybody yet. You don't no, think it's it'll cool that Trini's been paying for it, do you? Trini oh, doesn't okay. pay for much that's not strictly necessary. And but, either way, we'll probably get... It's worth looking into. If Trini used his villain persona, then maybe that means he thinks it's necessary. I wish I had access to our bank statements, but um, I don't know how those works. So. Uh. I don't know how they work. I mean, I'm a kid. I'm a techie, and. Uh, and... Probably. Uh, Petals, they're just discussing um, uh, what we're doing next, mostly because Victrola also mentioned that. Um, someone is still paying for Chinese room because it hasn't been taken over. Okay, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I got it. I think. Uh, more so, this is me babble asking. Is there a way that we can access Chinese bank statement? Possibly. Not here. Definitely not here. No, the boat has already, like, you hear the bah, bah, of the boat already taken off, and you are offshore now. Um, like, All right. People have, are on the boat, and Victrola doesn't exactly, didn't exactly grab that paperwork. Um, Juniper opens her mouth, hears that, and she closes her mouth and pouts a little bit. I'm like, god fucking damn it. Of course. <laughs> so... Well, it will be pretty easy. Um, I do have a thieves tools kit, which is, uh, if you guys uh, don't happen to have one. Um, so it'll be easy to speak onto his, uh, uh, onto his room, believing I've broken many of the locks in this place. So much sneaking. And less so. This, you'd be surprised how many people try to get into other people's rooms. Nobody really pays as much attention to it. Even the employees. It's the bat employee back areas that we really did have to sneak through. Hmm. That gives Juniper an idea, but it's impolite as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but it is also a very family... image thing to do. It's a very mobile thing to do. <laughs> What's the idea? Juniper just marching down, breaking the door open. <laughs> God. We should leave that to plan. If there is somebody in there, we don't want to raise alarms, but that would be a good idea. Is the room one with a porthole? Uh, no. <laughs> so all of the rooms don't uh don't actually like face like onto the side of the ship. Um, instead, uh, all of the rooms are like there is, they follow the they follow uh the side deck basically, and they're inwards okay. towards the ship. 
Wait right. a second. Wait a minute. Um, do these doors, like, do they have, like, a, like, is there, are, are there cracks in these doors? Like, places that you could, there like, are cracks. Sort of, sort of paper through. So Daffodil's a UPA in. <laughs> <laughs> she is 2D. She could just slide through the door. <laughs> that is very clever, my dear. Oh, right, probably should have said that in character, but... <laughs> you can say you did. Let's just say Daffodil said that out loud. There you go. Because I'm not RPing that because uh, my brain is malfunctioning. You're so good, it's fine. Gently so, pet you. We should probably head down to them. We should. Alright. Uh, if everybody's in agreement, unless you have anything else you want to say to each other... Um, you open the door, take a left, head towards the elevator, and go two floors down. Um, it is not a... Um, oh, what's up? Terrible thought, but... Yeah. Can Camille take the ice bucket? Yeah, sure. He has handed me that he wants the ice bucket, actually, so... Take the ice bucket. And... Putting it in your hammer space? <laughs> Yeah, he takes the ice bucket and slides into his hammer space. It's okay, already cool. proved useful once, so... <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a useful tool. Anyways, uh... Very ice idea, very cool. Uh, oh my god. Oh god. Ever-filling anyway. bucket of never melt ice. What could possibly go wrong? Anyways. Um... With that, you take two floors down, head, uh, head into the side deck, um, there are other villains that you pass by. Um, floor 5 usually hosts uh, some of the higher-end uh, higher cabins. Um, they're the more expensive ones. Um, and so as you pass by, you do... Uh... Hmm. I'm wondering if I want to pull these out. You know, no, fuck it. Uh, there is the drawing. You pass by a certain villain who just walks by. And I would say he does a snide remark as they pass by, you guys. Um. My god! <laughs> Let's decide uh. snide remark. It's a, it's just a side remark. It's more of like, like a, like, a little, like a little ch as they pass by you, uh, um, not even looking your direction, just kind of looking the other way. There's a ch <laughs> right back. <laughs> You know, if you say something you like, you could just say it. Absolutely. I mean, I, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Avi, do you want to say something? Oh my god. Really early. She's not trying to flirt with him. She's trying to get him the fuck off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so wait for it. It's fine. We can just say that they passed by him. Doesn't need to be interacted with. Um. <laughs> um with like that, two ships in the night. Yeah, like two <laughs> ships in the night. These are stories that will not inter intersect. <laughs> Redcon pulled both. No. Redcons pulled both of these threads very far away from each other. Anyways. Oh. <laughs> okay, if you want to, we can wait, I think. No, 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 don't worry. I'll be, you'll have definitely have a different, ch a different chance, don't worry. Um, Pet and with that... Um... <laughs> I'm sorry, Juniper's a fucking asshole. <laughs> Sometimes. Um, you guys pass by, and it is just a... Uh, 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 it is... Towards, more towards the front of the ship where you find the room. Um, this is one of their fancier uh, cabins. Uh, and so... Are you just sliding down there, Daffodil? Uh, I think first, before just going... I, I think she's gonna at least, like, poke her head through the crack of the door first just to, like, see what's in there, just in case. Okay. And so, can I, like... Yeah. No, no, no worries, no worries. Uh... So, uh, let me grab the description real quick. So, 
uh, looking inside, um, you notice that the room is dark. There is uh, no sound coming from it. Um, and from what you can see, because you're just looking upwards, um, to your immediate right and to your immediate left, it is almost like how you, like, you know how Trini is a mess in his room? Mm -hmm. This is definitely Trini's. This was, there is coffee cup mugs all over the floor. You can see a tie hanging from one of the, uh, like two ties hanging from one of the chairs. Um, there is, uh, 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 there's a, the bed is, remains unmade. Um, and um, uh, the desk that has just litters the stacks of a couple of papers. Um, this definitely looks like Trini um, when he is deep into an investigation. But there's nobody in the room. First immediate, that feels immediate reaction to the place being a mess is just the disappointed sigh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course he didn't even bother to this room. Okay. There is, you guys do and see, um, you guys do see hanging from the doorknob a please do not disturb. Alright, and, uh, uh, seeing if the room is empty, yeah, I guess Daphil is just gonna slip through the rest of the door and unlock it from the other side, so the rest of you Okay, so, flipping all the way through and actually standing up proper, um, just so I can give you a, a better description, the room is definitely Trinis, uh, papers are scattered with mugs over the plates, and in the very center, what you hadn't noticed before, it's Chinese gun. Left on the floor. Um, you see um, the Hawaiian sir shirt that he wore during um, uh, the Sunny Sales cruise is later on the bed. Um, and um, what you hadn't seen from your perspective when you were laying down on the floor is the massive push pin board that he, similar to the one he has in his own home. But this one is slightly different. The other one that he had in his own home um, was uh, more scattered. Uh, different things that he was looking at at the same time. This is different. All of these are converging into a center. Um, all of the push pins, all of the little uh, nodes and stuff like that are converging into one uh, picture in the very center and a small nuke sticker clipping um, uh, with a big red circle on, drawn on marker and um, uh, uh, but yeah, you, you can't read it from where you are, but if you want to just open the door and let everybody else in, you guys also see all of this. Mm. All right. So if... he got in here under his own power. This is definitely Much Chinese like room. And uh, Victrola actually grabs one of the coffee mugs and uh, places it on a very familiar coffee machine, which is next to the desk, next to the push pin board. Actually, well, definitely going to walk over and just like inspect the gun. Inspect <laughs> the maybe, gun. Maybe like pick up. Yeah. Okay. Like, does it still hey, have I... bullets? Has it been sh like has it been used recently? So. I'm going to say that since all of you are familiar with Trini, um, actually, no, fuck it. I'm going to say that um, uh, it doesn't have any bullets on it, um, uh, from what you can say. In fact, it doesn't have a place for a magazine. Um, instead, um, uh, Victrola walks up and just says, that's, that's the Tan gun. That's the Tan family gun. Oh, right, I forgot. Back when we have that spar, he uses it for magic, not actual bullets. But Daphne's gonna still like pick it up, put her a hammer space just for later. Wait, wait, wait. I guess if she, yeah. so she can wait, 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 wait. Oh. Can I sketch? She landed. Sick. And she actually hands it over to TOC. TOC will take the gun. TOC will look at the gun. Can you? Can you try shooting it? At anything. None of us, obviously, but... 
the TUC thinks vaguely about, uh, will it be suspicious to have gunfire in one of the rooms? Wait, you hear, no, it's you this hear, yeah, You hear gunfire immediately when you ask that question. Coming out from a different location in the ship. Fucking okay, Juniper looks down at like the leg in which holds her gun <laughs> under her skirt. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Alright, they will uh they will point the gun at uh, I guess is it. Um Is there any like obnoxious like beachy cruise furniture in the room? Like Definitely. a a, a lamp shape like yeah, they, they look at a lamp shaped like a pineapple, and they go, ah, yes, my time has come. Okay, so and, and they will shoot the pineapple. Quick question. What do you want to cast? Firebolt or magic missile? Um, I'm going to go with firebolt. Firebolt? Okay. It, it's TFC. It shoots. It shoots, um, and... It's, it hits its target just because it's a fucking lampshade. I'm not going to have you roll for it. Um, and uh, there's a happy look on Petrola's face before um, it immediately turns a little bit to dread. So, the, the, the Ton family gun isn't like a, a normal gun. It can only be really wielded. Uh, it's an arcane focus. We, I could use it to cast my spells if I wanted to. Um, but anybody who is considered a member of the Tan family, by ma the majority of the Tan family members, can technically use it. I, I thought that, uh, I thought that, uh, you know, since Tiny and, and you and, uh, and I considered you family, that you'd be able to use it, but... Hold up. Fuck. She Wait, is. She up. isn't. She isn't. Uh. She isn't finishing the sentence, but there is something that isn't said. I will say. Oh. You ah! hey. see, will scoop up their girl. Man. Just take your time, dear. We're listening. Does she even have to finish that sentence? If you need to roll insight to figure out what it is, um, if she is the All only right. Ton family member left, and she considers you family, she would be able to use the gun. Man. Okay, so... I'm gonna just put it right there. Um, it, can only, it only lets you to cast Firebolt. That was my bad. Um, POC will hold her by the shoulders uh, and sign one handed. It is the nature of family to fight. If it was a fight that was going to make someone not consider me family, you wouldn't have considered me family in the first place. This doesn't mean anything. Just get you a big plug. They preen the top of her her radio head, her antennae. Mm -hmm. Just. Um, what's everybody else doing? Uh, Camille's gonna give them their space. Uh, he would feel kind of out of place there, so he's just gonna do his uh, funny little investigation. Yeah, Daffodil's on the same boat as uh, Will here. Okay, so if you guys are both doing investigating checks, uh, are you investigating the room or just the board? It's the most prominent uh, feature. He's going to he's gonna start with the room and then uh, see what Juniper's found with the board, since I think Juniper went straight to the board. You went to the uh, Yeah. The... Okay, so um, Daffodil, what are you investigating? Uh, I think Daphne will also help investigate the room. The room? Okay. So, so one of you can you can both roll, or one of you can roll with advantage. Um, uh, you hey, you can roll with advantage. Daphne does not have the best investigation. There you go. Okay. Um, 
And um, I do need an investigation as well from you, Juniper. You see, if you're just confirming uh, Victrola for a little bit, then that's fine. Uh, yeah. I don't think... I don't think she would have. I Honestly, I don't know if she... Juniper's dumb of ass. I don't think she really knows whether or not Trini considers her family or not, and I don't think she knows whether or not Victrola does. She knows that she loves them. I was I, if I was saying that if you want to roll an investigation to, for the board. Yee. Yeah. I thought I heard somebody say that she was probably also comforting Victrola, which I was she saying, would want to. I was saying TOC is uh, probably comforting Victrola. Um, okay. Yeah, I misheard then. You're good. God fucking... Can't see. Oh shit. Alright. Where is your investigation mod then? Right 18 plus 5. Math. Hell yeah. Okay. So. Uh, with the three of you, you do notice that um, this, uh, for the ones who have in the room, you notice that Chinese had been here for probably a couple of days. It doesn't seem like there was a struggle here. Um, he did bring with him um, uh, like a couple of blank VHS tapes to uh, like obviously records his uh, uh, memory so he was here, but there's none, none here that are left uh, that aren't blank. Uh, there's also not a TV. Uh, obviously, you guys brought one. I don't think you brought one um, that can play them. So, um, for right now, those remain like unknown. Uh, but um, the push board, the push board. Um, looking. Oh, and I'll also give you this. Um, almost like connecting the dots. Uh, the three of you managed to find that the push board. There's a reason why the copy machine is also there. Um, you see that the copy machine has been turned in a weird way where it's not facing towards the, the person who's the user, but instead the back of it is now visible. Um, and you see a small little thread had been connected from the coffee machine to the pushboard, uh, pin -bin, uh, pushboard itself. And there's a couple of things here. Uh, there is a symbol that you saw before. The, the, if I need to get it again, let me find it real quick. Do you guys remember it? Um, uh, I think I do. I can I can pull it back up again. Um, Is it the symbol that Juniper failed twice to try and understand? Yeah. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Second, let's just grab it again. Okay. This symbol, which um, you see, is now connected to the back of the coffee machine and on the back of it you see the exact same symbol almost like engraved into the metal it's very tiny it's barely visible um but it is there um and all of it is going together towards um um other um newspaper clippings of like wondrous um like of villains who have um their picture taken and um you see their machines usually have a singular component um, that uh, seems to come uh, with this symbol on it, and all of it is like twisting around into a center in which you see all of it congregate together into one uh, into one location. The the ship, the uh, the the like the location um, where it is. You see a bunch of tickets and stuff like that, and finally, the middle newspaper clipping that you read um, says, "The cast enters auction." A place for all villains uh, of all kinds to get any material that they so wish. Come on down and uh, happening tonight, uh, and it says a date that is tonight um, uh, uh, on the ship itself. And um, it does say VIP members only and uh, begins to continue talking about uh, the cruise ship itself 
But there is a picture of a man that you can see, a real kind man, which looks like this. No name given, um, just says um, he he is just referred to by the newspaper clipping as the auctioneer. Can Juniper roll a history on that? Sure. Actually, I'm not I'm not gonna let you roll the history because this is not a person that you recognize. It's this is. Not a villain. If they're a villain, they're very low villain to the point where they, there's not it's not someone that you recognize. If they're a worker on the ship, this is the only mention that you can see in the entire room about this place, and you see his face is circled um, in red marker. Um, you see the event location, and um, Miss Honeybottom actually pulls out like a little um, uh, little planner that she uh, that she has, and uh, she sees noted down on it like uh, all of the ship's events. On it, you do read uh, tonight only the cast and their auction. Let me um, I'll post the name of it really quickly. Uh, she's going to tap very lightly with her claw. Uh, that and on uh, Miss Honeybottom's planner, and uh, Jennifer's gonna take the. The fucking photo of this guy. Just rip it off. Easy enough. Yeah. And, um... Hand it to Miss Honeybottom to hide in the planner. Got it. It's a bit weird. I've heard of the auctions happening here, but I've never... They're usually reserved for VIP members only. Very expensive. Um, getting into one of those is um, far too much money. Um, even for me, I'm, I'm living on a retiree by the um, Juniper just stares silently. She might be dissociating a little bit, because, like, God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. Man. God damn it. All right, well, now I see what you did. You fucker. <laughs> yeah. What have I done? Yeah. I'm going to poke you in DMs about it, but... Yeah, I don't know Anyways, what you mean. That... <laughs> I haven't done anything. Oh, right, music. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting to keep playing it. <laughs> I'm going to poke you in DMs, beloved, but that, that's what Juniper is doing. And she's thinking, just god fucking damn it. <laughs> yeah. Yes? Mm. So the coffee pot is, like, part of the room's amenities, right? Nope. Okay, In fact, uh, cool. Victrola literally mentioned earlier, uh, she actually recognized that this is their coffee pot. Franny brought it with him. Okay. Makes cool. the best. It makes the best coffee Trini ever got. Has ever gotten. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, that's that's fun. That's fine. Huh? And um, at this point, by the way, uh, you see Victrola gets up. Um, and she wipes tears from her eyes and just says, You can keep the gun if you want to. For now. Until we find him. Oh, Theo C? Oh no! Oh no! Did we lose Oh no! Fuck's sake, I've been muted for the last 30 minutes! Oh. Or not 30 oh, minutes, no. but like. Oh no. No wonder everyone is talking over me. Shit. Um. Oh, I pat you. Sorry. I pat you. I, it, um, TOC, well, if you, if Victrola wants to, uh, move over there, uh, I'm sorry, you're being put on the chicken's back. Uh, 
The chicken is uh acquired gun. They will keep that, thank you. Yeah. Um the, the barbarian can cast now, this is what you've done. The barbarian can um, cast one spell while you're not raged. Actually, fuck it, it comes from a magical item. You're not casting a spell, you technically can. Fair enough. Yeah. Um But they will look at the the group at large and look at that person. Hmm. Vibes are rancid. I think it's pretty clear that if this person isn't the person that the Elder Tons were tracking when they disappeared, he's associated with the per the person, right? Um, it's a save assumption to make. Great. Yeah, Camille's just gonna keep his theories in his pocket because hmm, that sure is a uh, yeah. Still just nodding along with what everyone's saying. I have much to Well, you'll see. Let me up. Uh, she is on their shoulders. She could hop off. Okay. I thought you were saying you were on top of her, so that way she, she couldn't get up. But it's fine. Um. Oh no, they they have picked up they have picked up the radio and have transported her. Okay. Sorry. You're fine. I might have misspoke. No, you're good. It's my misunderstanding. Oh. Babel, uh, uh, you'll understand later. Um, either way. Um, so, we need a way to get into that auction, right? Yeah. Anybody present? So. Okay, nobody's presenting some ideas. So, um, she's actually gonna reach back into her planner and uh, I mean... point towards uh, three events that uh, she has written down, which are all going at the same time. There is a. How to best put it, a, uh, there's an event going on on the main stage, of which the price for winning, um, the main stage, by the way, is where they hold concerts, um, the price for winning is um, uh, a, VIP, a multiple a set of VIP tickets. The Tavern Brawl Tavern is hosting an event in which if you beat up the strongest person, you get a VIP ticket. And there's also another event happening all at the same time called the Mad Scientist Competition, in which the best invention brought forth will win. These are all happening about an hour before the, the actual auction itself. And so Miss Honeybottom says, technically, we participated in these events. These are the only way I could see us ever getting any of these VIP tickets. Unless you all happen to have about a Three million bits on you. Good golly. Um, <laughs> They're very. Oh, that expensive. must be in my other. No. Oh, one sec. Go ahead. Oh, I'll throw that to TV for a second. Hi, sorry, someone just knocked. Um, but yeah, TFC, what's it? This, uh, Looks at the old lady and it's just like, oh, it's, it must be in my other vest. Yeah. Well, it would be mine. Well, um, which one do you think we should all go for? I'm Admittedly, leaving. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, no, go ahead. Admittedly, I am not the smartest when it comes to. Talk smart, so maybe not the invention thing. And uh, wait, is it multiple tickets for winning one of them, or is it All one right. ticket per? It's multiple tickets. All right. I mean, we could try 
one or two, or even all three, if we use the buddy system. It's hard. All three would be required to be able to get enough tickets for everyone here. Alright, well, I guess we should probably split up according to who has, um, who's the best at what. Anything performance based. Or sneaking uh, or flying. The main stage is how it hosts the a performance. Victoria mentions. And you are a Canadian. I guess I'm going with that one. Uh, who's coming with me? I'll follow you. Victoria uh, puts her hand up. I can help you. Uh, then the rest, or where are you guys going? I will be punching. So the tavern brawl tavern. Yeah. I will be punching. <laughs> Whether or not it's in the tavern depends on how many people piss me off before I get there. That's fair. Um, I. <laughs> no, they're going for the tavern. Sorry. I. No, that. They're fine. Uh, I guess I'll probably go for the, uh, for the science competition then. Um, I don't... I'm not exactly the best at taking a hit. He sort of gestures at his two-foot-eight, six-year-old self. <laughs> Understandable. Um... I guess I'll go with you then, Camille, because I'm not great at taking a hit either. Well, like Low I said, con, but... like I said, these hips are still kicking. <laughs> I'll follow you to the I'll follow you to the tavern. TAC offers his fist bump with their wing. Don't worry yeah, about I it. Get a, you get one back. <laughs> well, I guess that settles it then. Um, I will mention, uh, I have work at 6 tomorrow, uh, EST, so it's, I, I think it, we're wrapping it up, but, um, just to bring it into everyone's awareness that, uh, I cannot stay up for two more hours. Okay. No more. Sorry. What's what's the max limit you got? Um, I go to work at six tomorrow, so I need to be up at five. Okay. So, um, how many hours maybe... you got left? And subtract one, and tell me how much. Uh... I maybe ten thirty is my 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 hard limit. Is that EST? Because I don't know. Uh, if we're, I forget what. Yeah, we, we are EST. We are EST. I'm okay. EST. We can um we can call it quits now. And we just have a it's gonna be a uh, I can probably fit all of it under under three parts. It might be a there might be a fourth part at some point. Which I expect it to happen. This is all good. Good we all we good with Sorry. that? No worries, it's it's all fine. I knew there was gonna be a time limit. Alright, well, if we're gonna call it quits then. Uh, if so. everyone gearing up to go do their own fun yeah. things. So, mm. with a plan hashed out and um, uh, another time, uh, uh, another, uh, another leap take, uh, found, a lot of you head off into your respective uh, uh, locations and um, uh, make your way. Each of you making your way to a different floor um, of the event halls in which all of these are going to be taking place. And hopefully, earn your VIP tickets to enter the cast Enders option and meet with a real kind man who seemed to be at the end of this trip. And with that, thank you all for watching. And thank you for playing.
Thank you for DMing. Thank you for a wonderful game, game Jane. <laughs> it's very, very good. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, unless anybody else has anything to say, uh, I think we can end it here. All I got is saying gay rights. <laughs> Fuck yeah, gay <laughs> rights, trans, gay rights, trans rights, LGBTQ rights, and uh, uh, legalize abortion. Fuck everybody, everything else. <laughs> All right, goodbye everyone. Bye.